Attack on Titan, 10 anime heroes exactly like Levi Ackerman. Captain Levi Ackerman is ruthless, efficient, stone-cold, which may remind anime fans of many similar characters. Levi isn't alone out there. Attack on Titan introduced anime fans to a dark and intense world where the terrifying power of the Titans casts a long shadow over the world. For an entire century. The Eldians on Parody Island were besieged by the dreaded Titans, and only brave, deadly fighters such as Captain Levi Ackerman could fight back and survive. Levi quickly established himself as a cold. Ruthless, results-oriented antihero, being a capable leader but also an emotionally distant person. He does make a few friends, though, such as Hang Zoe and Commander Erwin Smith. And Levi had a difficult upbringing, which explains his stern and self-centered behavior. Many other anime characters are a bit like this, too. 10. During the Golden Age arc, Casca was a lot like Levi Berserk. The characters of Berserk underwent many changes in the story, and after a point, Casca was rather different than Levi. During the Golden Age arc, though, the two characters were remarkably similar. Both of them were military commanders who served under greater leaders, such as Griffith and Erwin Smith. At the time, Casca was loyal and disciplined, but she was fairly humorless, and not without reason. She had her mind totally fixed on her duty, and she had little patience for rogue elements. Such as guts. That's similar to how Levi viewed the problematic Aaron Yeager. 9. Yuri Ishida is calm but fierce, like Levi Bleach. Aside from having more comic relief moments than Levi and a different fighting style, Yuryu Ishida the Archer is an analog for Levi in the Bleach world. Yuryu is stern and serious, and he is even high-strung at times since he bears the honor of the Quincy tribe on his shoulders. Yuryu plays off of Ichigo Kurosaki in a similar way as Levi and Eren. Mostly, scolding the shonen lead for being reckless and brash. Like Levi, Yuryu favors fighting by the book, and he would rather sit back and make a solid plan than leap right into the action. 8. Kento Nanami is professional stern jujitsu kaisen. Kento Nanami is an experienced jujitsu sorcerer, though he is hardly sentimental about it, he's not about to compare himself to a superhero. For example, he finds it slightly preferable to being a salary man and he doesn't like foolish optimism or open-ended questions. Nanami tends to have a no-nonsense, pragmatic attitude. Just like Levi, and he is more powerful than the brash shonen lead whom he is looking after, in this case, Yuji Itadori. If a truly powerful foe shows up, such as Mahito, Nanami will insist on taking over the fight. 7. Thorfinn is fast, Deadly always means business Vinland Saga. The main difference between Thorfinn and Captain Levi is that Thorfinn is not a military leader, and instead, he follows Askeladd's orders. Other than that, the two characters have some serious overlap, including their tragic backstories. Levi's mother died when her son was young, and Thorfinn saw his father. Thor's, killed before his eyes. Thorfinn is self-absorbed, serious, and unsentimental, much like Levi, and he favors speed and precision over brute force in combat, another factor he and Levi have in common. Thorfinn can take on the mighty Thorkel and survive, which is impressive. 6. Tuka Kirishima suffered loss became a bitter semi-loner Tokyo ghoul. Tuka Kirishima is the rabbit ghoul, and she has experienced her fair share of misery. She and her little brother Ayato lost their father to CCG investigators. And then Tuka and Ayato went their separate ways. Tuka became a semi-loner after that, primarily looking out for herself. Among ghouls, a life story like that isn't unusual. And Tuka's stern, unforgiving personality is not unlike Levi Ackerman's own. And like Levi, 
Tuka soon becomes an ally of the protagonist and helps them out for practical reasons. Unlike Levi, though, Tuka later found love. She and Ken eventually got along very well and married. 5. Jutomioka is all business, all the time demon slayer. Jutomioka is the current water Hashira, the master of the same breathing technique that Tanjiro Kamadu himself uses. In fact, Ju was the first Hashira to appear in the story, and he tried to slay Nezuko Kamadu until Tanjiro's defiance prompted him to stand down. Ju is stern and professional. And he tends to not make many friends, something he actually gets teased for. Still, Ju is not bitter or wrathful, and he is definitely a hero, like Levi, even if he doesn't have a sparkling personality. His personality is sharp and hard, like a Nikarin blade. 4. The Goblin Slayer focuses entirely on the mission at hand Goblin Slayer. The Goblin Slayer has a well-earned reputation for being a goblin hater, and he only accepts missions that involve slaying those terrible little creatures. Goblins are to him what titans are to Levi, and the Goblin Slayer always has the right gear on hand for a slaughter. The Goblin Slayer is emotionally detached from almost everything around him. And he doesn't flinch when other adventurers get overwhelmed by goblins or other threats. He will, however, swiftly avenge them in true style and leave no goblin standing. 3. Lieutenant Riza Hawkeye is a consummate professional, full metal alchemist, Brotherhood. Lieutenant Riza Hawkeye is a disciplined and loyal officer of the Amestris military. And to her, being by the book is like breathing. Duty, decorum, and the mission always come first, and she is quick to reprimand anyone who goofs off or breaks protocol. Hawkeye can be absolutely merciless in combat. And she can quickly fill an opponent with lead and keep shooting until the job is done. That closely matches Levi's ruthless combat style, such as when he beat down Zeke Jaeger's Beast Titan. 2. Lieutenant Takahisa Hinawa is also a duty bound soldier fire force. Lieutenant Hinawa is also rather similar to Riza Hawkeye, including his combat style, which revolves around firearms. Unlike Hawkeye, though, he has a supernatural ignition ability that allows him to control the heat and sparks of a discharged bullet. He can then guide his bullets through the air. Hinawa, just like Levi, is a no-nonsense officer who puts duty first, and he is not at all sentimental or goofy, aside from his unintentionally poor choice of clothing. Like Levi. He's quick to reprimand anyone who is slacking off or acting up. 1. Shota Aizawa means well but is highly demanding, to My Hero Academia. Shota Aizawa is the homeroom teacher of Class 1A, and when operating as a hero, he emphasizes intelligence, stealth, and technique over brute force. Levi is a deadly swordsman who also favors strategic planning and maneuverability over brute force, though that didn't stop from delivering serious beatdowns to the female and beast titans. Aizawa is stern and demanding, and he is just the kind of teacher who can get class 1A's unruly students into shape as pro-heroes. He doesn't often act cheery or compliment others. But he takes his role as a teacher seriously, and he dearly wishes to see all villains fall. Levi can appreciate that. <laughs>